morning, beloved of the Lord. I think I'm in Odessa, Texas. I believe we're on our way home. We'll get to go home uh, for a couple days. My daughter is moving to Florida and taking three of the grandchildren with her. So uh, my wife has a big shindig planned and they're gonna go horseback riding and uh, uh, try to have some fun before they leave uh, to go to Florida I was reading actually I was watching a video and I'm I'm in mark right now in my read-through and the video is about the uh, charismatic movement and how that a lot of what's going on in the in the charismatic church also goes on uh, in the Kundalini Kundalini yoga stuff uh, where they get filled with the Kundalini spirit and begin to speak in tongues and uh, all kind of things. Uh, while are on the floor, uh, being slain in the spirit. And this goes on in the Hindu uh, Kundalini uh, religion. And it also goes on in the charismatic movement, which is... You know, my daughter, they're moving down there to a uh, church with a charismatic uh, preacher and everything. And, you know, she says she feels the spirit. And I told her, I said, you, you feel a spirit, all right. But I don't believe it's the Holy Spirit. And I got to reading in uh, Mark chapter 9, uh, about verse 17, where the... Uh, man said his son was demon possessed and the disciples couldn't cast him out and Jesus said well you gotta uh, some uh, won't come out but by uh, fasting and prayer but to get to reading them guy was foaming at the mouth he was rolling around on the ground uh, he was they cast him in the water and then cast him in the fire so this demon that possess this boy uh, is a whole lot like what goes on in that charismatic church. Uh, if you'll notice, it's very unscriptural what they do, but nowhere in the Bible does it talk about anybody being thrown around and uh, gnashing of teeth and the things that they do and except when it's talking about demon possession and uh, that's just very <laughs> telling to me uh, the Bible says that try the spirits uh, you should have a discernment of spirits and these people they it's all about the emotions it's all about the feeling and that's exactly what goes on in the uh, kundalini yoga stuff and a lot of churches even use that in their church they offer a kundalini yoga uh, a class and yoga means to be yoked with something and you're getting yoked with the serpent and he comes up through your uh, chantras or something I'm not an expert of course I don't practice yoga but I just found it very interesting that the Hindus and the charismatic if you'll watch I watched a video this guy did a video and in the video he shows the charismatic church and them screaming and wallering around on the floor and then he immediately cuts to the Hindu church or whatever they call it, the Hindu 
uh, temple, I think they call it. And they're doing the exact same thing. Folks, this is demonic. Uh, it's a very dangerous, dangerous thing to be yoked with demons. They're uh, wanting to be baptized with fire. Uh, my son-in-law actually said that to me a couple times. He wants to be baptized with fire. No, you don't want to be baptized with fire. Uh, the Bible says that he will, uh, John the Baptist said that uh, him that comes after me will baptize you with water, with the Holy Ghost, and with fire. And then the verse above it and the verse after it's talking about hell fire and gnashing of teeth. Uh, the baptism of fire is going to hell, not being filled with the Spirit. <clears throat> but a lot of these charismatics, when they do get uh, this Spirit that comes upon them, they'll say they feel burning and they'll scream. And um, I just, it doesn't witness with the Spirit of God that's in me, anyhow. And so I'm very concerned. <clears throat> The more I learn about that movement, because I really don't know much about it. Like uh, I've told you before, if you watch my channel a lot, uh, when I was a kid, I before I got saved, I went to a uh, Pentecostal church and they'd roll on the floor and speak in tongues and dance around and all that stuff, and it just freaked me out uh, at a young age. <laughs> but now that I, my uh, daughter is getting involved in that, I've uh, put a little more effort into studying about it, and it's, it's a dangerous, dangerous thing to be yoked. Uh, she even talked about when she's filled with the Spirit, she <coughs> laughs uh, hysterically, and that's one of the things uh, that they do, the hysterical laughter and stuff. And uh, So pray for her. Her name's Danielle. <coughs> And that, the bad part is they actually really believe that they're doing God a service. And uh, I, I'm sure they're sincere. <clears throat> they're not. I know my daughter's sincere. She's. I believe she's a born-again Christian. She's just been deceived by this thing. Uh, but they. Uh, it's just a terrible, terrible uh, deception. And uh, they put no stock in the Word of God whatsoever. It's all about the feelings. I asked the boy, you know, he's supposed to be a preacher. I said, well, could you tell me please what the gospel is? And uh, where you can find the gospel in the Bible. Very Christian 101. Very basic question. I could ask any of y'all. Y'all could go right to it. Uh, he said, all of it, all of it's the gospel. And of course, they're the full gospel. You know, they have the apostolic uh, gifts of the Spirit and everything. So it's the full gospel. They don't study the Word of God. They don't know the Word of God. They don't use the Word of God as their final authority. Their final authority is whatever uh, their prophet or uh, says or whatever. But it's a very dangerous uh, thing and I'm really concerned so please uh, lift them up uh, in prayer I'm praying that they'll uh, see but they've been blinded they have been blinded and this place they're going they're moving to Tampa Florida and supposedly this church has had a revival they've been meeting every day and uh they got a YouTube channel. I don't remember what the name of it is. My sis, uh, my daughter gave me the link, and I looked it up. And it's they had testimonies and their uh, everything. And uh, uh, the testimony was, well, I been praying for a house, and I went out to eat and. Uh, with a friend of mine and the friend gave me five thousand dollars for the down payment of the house hallelujah and they danced around and uh, <clears throat> it's a lot of prosperity stuff and it just it's 
what a terrible, terrible movement. Uh, but you know, the devil's moved in. There's an apostate. There's a falling away from the truth. Uh, the Bible warns you about it over and over. And uh, these seducing spirits and doctrines of devils uh, and I'm not saying that lightly I've looked into this quite a bit and it is obviously of the devil this charismatic movement I uh, I started watching so I do not my witness uh, my spirit does not witness with anything that is going on in uh, that church and I just can't believe that they're blinded in such a way but they're all looking for an experience they're all looking for uh, something a feeling they have uh, my daughter and her husband is uh, what they call worship worship leader or worship uh, it's a non-biblical thing there's no <laughs> there's nothing uh, in the Bible about it whatsoever but what they do is they play their drums which and their music which is ungodly as it can be and they play that music and they play those drums and they get hyped up that's exactly what happens in a rock and roll concert that's exactly uh, the tool that Satan's been using since the beginning of time uh, he was made with harps and uh, instruments in his body uh, some people say that he probably was the uh, you know worship leader in heaven but yeah they get uh, all hyped up and, uh, and start swaying their hands and uh start speaking in tongues my daughter says well I don't speak in tongues I speak in a heavenly language and where do you find that in the Bible anyway if you would just uh, keep them in your prayer I am literally calling on the name of Jesus in the blood to cleanse her uh, from this lie of Satan and that is exactly what I believe it is I know this is being harsh uh, towards that but you got to speak the truth. And the truth is, uh, that is of Satan, uh, that charismatic movement. Now, I've met Pentecostals that I believe were saved, born-again Christians, just deceived. But this charismatic stuff, uh, it takes it a, a, a step further. It's getting into uh, the same exact stuff as the Hindus do where they getting they empty themselves and get filled with the spirit but it's not the holy spirit it's a kundalini uh, type spirit anyway i've ran it on now uh quite a bit i i'm just concerned i'm gonna miss those kids they're leaving uh next week they'll be gone and uh, i don't know if i can i know I probably won't be the one to reach them because the boy says, well, one of these days we'll get you saved and uh, talking to me and he doesn't even know uh, how to be saved and I even asked him, well, could you tell me how, how, how can I be saved? How do you get saved? And uh, of course, they don't use any scripture hardly at all he said, well, they used the King James there. And I said, well, that's good. And he said, but they also used the Amplified Bible. <laughs> that's one of the worst ones. I said, oh, okay. Uh, so he's going down there. And, uh, he's going to go to school to be a preacher. And then my daughter, I think, is going to learn something about music, which... Uh, she is very musically inclined. She plays the guitar, sings like an angel, but uh, I wish somebody could reach them uh, with the true gospel of Jesus Christ. 
a lot of times you know it's not you it's not uh, uh, it's not going to be you that reaches them uh, Jesus said a prophet's not You know, not held in high esteem in his own land or in his own house. And so it's probably not going to be me that can reach them, but pray that somebody uh, can reach them with the true gospel. Because they're very zealous. They could uh, do a lot of great work for the Lord, but you got to get the Spirit of God in you. They believe they're being baptized by the Holy Ghost in uh, fire. And uh, the Holy Spirit fills you when he when you're born again you're sealed by the spirit of Christ the Holy Spirit uh, and when you you never lose that seal that's your earnest an earnest is a uh, a down payment in other words if I give you a thousand dollars and say I'm gonna buy that car I'm putting an earnest on the car. I'm putting an earnest payment. The Holy Spirit is your earnest payment of what's coming in the afterlife. And when they take that and they believe that they it comes on them and then he leaves, uh, that's that's not not of God. Now the Holy Spirit came upon uh, people in the Old Testament and left but he did not indwell them until the church age. So, of course, they have no understanding of rightly dividing the word of truth at all. I just, uh, I plead the blood against that demonic spirit uh, that's trying to take them over. You gotta do spiritual warfare and that's what I'm trying to do, so if you would, lift them up if you have any prayer requests please leave them in the comments i'm sorry i ran it on so long about that but i'm truly 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 concerned about uh those girls because they're getting uh they're getting deceived folks uh by this charismatic movement that that movement didn't I don't know exactly where the Charismatics, but the Pentecostals started back up in 1901 and uh, or the late 1800s, and uh, they call it the latter rain. So uh, the apostles came back, but for hundreds of years, nobody uh, did any of that stuff. It's just a, a deception of Satan. And it's non-scriptural. You do err not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. All right, I've gone on long enough. Uh, if you have a prayer request, leave it in the comments. Uh, be sure to read those Bibles. Because if you don't read those Bibles, folks, you're not going to know. Uh, you're not going to recognize a satanic uh, attacks like what goes on in the charismatic movement. They don't even carry their uh, Bible to church. I said, why don't you have your Bible? Oh, we don't use it in church. What? <laughs> anyway, what do you use? I mean, uh, that, that's the final authority of everything spiritual is that book. So read that book and then pray without ceasing. Y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, God bless each and every one of you.